Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Catherine and today I wanted to talk a little bit about GPTs. So if you haven't noticed, if you've been following my Facebook or my Facebook groups, you're in any of my groups, you'll probably see that I am a little bit obsessed with AI since ChatGPT and Midjourney came out. My mind has really been blown by these tools. I think they're so exciting. There's so much potential in there. And lately what I've been doing is building GPTs. So a GPT is basically a little app that runs in chat GPT. What you can do is create a GPT that stores some prompts, some instructions, and it will perform a simple task for you. And this is really nice because you can use them as shortcuts for your prompts and shortcuts for the things that you do often in ChatGPT. And what I've been doing is building GPTs for you guys to use. So some of the GPTs I've made have just been for fun. For example, I have our fashionista that I built which you upload a picture of yourself and it gives you fashion recommendations for clothes and styles that would suit your looks. And that's really fun because you can use ChatGPT to tweak those looks and customize them so that you end up with something that, hey, maybe you would like to wear. So I've been making tools like that. I also made GPT Craft, which is a suite of 20 games that you can play with GPT. And I just had a lot of fun building this one night and thought I would put it out there and share with you guys so you can see what you can do with ChatGPT. But what I really wanted to talk about today is the four tools that I have created for KDP and tangent template users. So if you're creating medium content, low content books for KDP, if you're creating coloring books or anything simple, like maybe how to books, books that have information, like if you're a teacher, for example, let's say you teach piano, maybe you're interested in making books for KDP for that. So what I've done is made four GPTs that I think are really useful for book creators. And those are my tangent book creator. There's also the magic calendar, which gives you ideas based on the year. So you can get ideas for any particular month if you're planning ahead. And then there's also the bundle of two new tools that I've just put out this week. One is the image to book tool. And what that does is you can give it any image. You can give it a photograph you've taken. You can give it a drawing by your child. You can give it a picture that you've created in mid journey and it will take that picture and use it as inspiration to give you some ideas for books you can create. It uses my deep values framework. And that's kind of the magic behind some of my GPTs that I've been putting out. They have my deep values framework put in there. And deep values is really a set of emotions and feelings that drive people to buy books. So I really like deep values because it gets to the heart of why people actually would buy a book, why your Amazon customers are, are going to buy a particular book. And so by using deep values to create books and to create ideas for books, hopefully what you're getting is something that people will actually be emotionally driven to buy. So there's the two new GPTs, which I put out this week. One is the image to book, as I said. The other one is really fun. It is a cover critique. So what that GPT can do is take a cover of any of your books, take a look at it, give it marks out of 10 for different aspects of the image, and also make suggestions, give you ideas about what that cover could mean to people, how you might want to improve it. So it's a really in-depth critique of your book covers. So we're going to be looking at those four tools, the magic calendar, the book creator, image to book and cover critique. And I'm also going to show you how you can use all of them together. You can bounce back and forth between them. So to use these GPTs, you will need a ChatGPT Plus plan. At the moment, that is $20 a month. So you will need to go to openai.com and sign up for the ChatGPT Plus. I think it's worth it because there is just so much you can do with ChatGPT. I think it's the most powerful AI tool there is at the moment. So I strongly recommend it anyway. So you will need a ChatGPT Plus account to use these GPTs. 
But the good news is the GPTs are absolutely free. So here's me making money for ChatGPT and not for myself, but that's okay. If you if you want to, you can pay what you want. You can um you can buy me a coffee. There are links in the GPTs where you can just say, How do I buy Catherine a coffee? And it will give you a link to do that. So hey, that's something cool you can do if you're building your own GPTs. You can you can ask people who use them to buy you a coffee. So GPTs pretty cool. So let's take a look at how this works. First of all, once you have your ChatGPT Plus account, go to my Gumroad, which is katherine.gumroad.com, and you're going to want to download the GPTs. So the one I primarily recommend is the Book Creator GPT right here, which probably has the most features. That's a very in-depth tool for creating low and medium content books and as you can see we've had some amazing reviews on that look at that 65 reviews there five stars thank you so much so i recommend getting the book creator gpt these are all free and what will happen is when you click on it you will get a document so if you buy that or just put in zero to get it for free you will get a document which has the link of the gpt when you click that GPT, it will add it to your chat GPT tools. Now do the same thing with my magic calendar here and then go and grab the new bundle, which I've just uploaded here, which is the image to book and cover critique. So all of those tools, just go and grab them from my gun mode for free. You'll get the document that has the links and you can add them to your chat GPT. Once you've done that, you can go to chat GPT and hopefully you will see these tools at the side right here. So you can see there's the book creator, there is the tangent magic calendar, and then there's the image to book and the tangent cover critique. So I'm going to start with the image to book tool because it's just fun and easy to use. So I've clicked it there, but also what I could do is use the at symbol in the chat box here, and you can see it there, I could click it here as well. So that's how you find it. And what I'm gonna do, is just upload a picture. So I'm just gonna drag a picture and drop it in there. And you can see it gives you the options for what it can do here. So it says generate a book idea from an image, look at the menu or ask about this GPT. So I'm just gonna hit enter and there you go. There's a picture I made yesterday in Mid Journey. I think it's really cute. It's kind of an abstract picture, collage with a girl and a deer and some sheet music in the background. Okay, so now you can see what this is doing. So it starts out by choosing three deep values from my deep value framework. So the values it has picked are innocence, harmony, and wonder. And it explains a little bit about those. The presence of a child and a young deer, purity, new beginnings, and return to the basics of nature and life, harmony, peaceful coexistence, I like that, and wonder, the small miracles in nature and a sense of curiosity and awe. All I did was give it a picture. I didn't even have to type anything. I just gave it the picture. And it's given me three book concepts. So the books it's given me is Harmony and Innocence, a children's activity book for nature appreciation, The Beginner's Guide to the Natural World, a journal and planner for young explorers. I like that a lot. And then The Wonders of a Young World, interactive storybook and memory keeper. That's kind of sweet, a memory keeper for children. I like that idea. It suggests how you could do that. You can put in short tales about nature's wonders and children can also paste in their own photos or drawings. So that's really cute. It's also given me a little collection of keywords. So it's taken a look at this picture and then given me some really interesting keywords that it thinks are valuable from those. So some of these are really nice. Nature's palette, I like that. Musical rhythms, serene, nostalgic, introspective. What you can do from here is it, it actually tells you at the bottom, it says, would you like a detailed content plan for one of these book concepts or do you want to generate long tail keywords for KDP? So I'm actually going to say long tail keywords for the beginner's guide to the natural world. I like that idea a lot. So this can give us some keywords and alternatively, we could ask it to give us a content plan so it could tell us what to put in that book. So let's give it a moment. Wow, there it goes. So it's finding 50 long tail keywords and these are great. You can use these in your KDP 
in your boxes and your listing for KDP. You can even use these if you're doing Google, you're doing SEO, you want to make a website for your book. Like these keywords are just super valuable. So this is really helpful. And this is all in the image to book tool. And of course, I can also explore the content plan. So I can say content plan for, and what, what did we call it? It was the beginner's guide to the natural world. So we can say, give me that content plan as well. Perfect. Okay, so you can see what it's doing here. This is how you can plan out your book. So you've got an introduction, getting started. You can put in a checklist of essential items for a young explorer. And of course, with this being chat GPT, you can literally just copy and paste that a checklist, say generate me a checklist. And then what you can do is go over to tangent templates, start your book in tangent templates. So there we go. I'm just going to open up the interior designer. And in fact, let's go back to chat GPT. Let's take that checklist and let's say generate a short checklist. And I'm just giving it its own words back. <laughs> so I'm just copying and pasting. So you don't have to do that much typing to use these, you see. Perfect. Now I just want the items. So I'm going to say, just give me a list of the items without the numbers or description. And this will make it easy to just paste across into tangent templates. Perfect. So I can just copy this list here and I can go across to the designer in tangent templates and I can draw a text box and just paste those items in. Perfect. And then actually what I could do is increase the spacing there. So there we go. That looks more like a list. And then I can just go in and add some boxes. So there we go. There's a nice box and you can play around with this. I can give it curved corners. I can increase the border thickness. So I've drawn 10 of those. And what I'm going to do is pull that down to there. And I'm going to select all of those, arrange, take them left and distribute there. So there we go. You can see very easy to make a checklist. And now you have the first page of your book. So you, of course you can add details to this, add your images and so on. But how easy is that to just start generating content right away using this tool? So all of this is just in the image to book tool. So now what's really clever is that you can switch to another GPT without losing your chat. So I'm actually going to go to the book creator tool now because that has more options than the image to book. So what I can do is actually look at the menu. Check it out. This has a whole list of features that are in the book creator. So now what I can do is say brainstorm the book concept and I'm going to give it the title. There we go. I copied and pasted that title. So I'm going to put that in there and let's see what it comes up with. Hopefully this will flesh out the book concept a little further. There we go. So this has the general gist of this book. So it's got the beginner's guide to the natural world. It's got the concept, the goal of the book to educate children about various aspects of nature from flora and fauna to ecosystems. It's got the back cover blurb. It's got a slogan and tagline and it has a description of the cover that you might like to do. So this is really, really cool. We can also do this so we can say buy an avatar for this book. OK, so this is really fun. Buy our avatar for Beginner's Guide to the Natural World, The Young Explorers. There we go. It's got a picture there. So what we need is the buyer avatar report. I should have specified report. So let's do buyer avatar report and hopefully it can generate that. There we go. So this is giving us a bit more information here. So this is Alex. He's 10 years old. He's an elementary school student, lives with his parents in a suburban area and it tells you a whole bunch of information here that would be valuable for you to know if you were creating a book for children. So it tells you what his struggles are, finding age appropriate resources, that's interesting, and challenges are learning complex scientific concepts, so you want to avoid those. Dreams, 
to make a positive impact on the environment. That's pretty cool. And it tells you a little bit about shopping behavior and so on. So you can get more information from the book creator here. As I say, it, it's got a whole bunch of features you can explore there. If you run into any problems at all, just try again. Just be a little bit more specific in your prompts. It is chat GPT, so sometimes it hallucinates, it forgets, it comes up with the wrong thing. So if you get stuck, just go and look at the menu and use the words that are in the menu. Like, for example, I just said buyer avatar and that gave me a picture. What I needed to say was buyer avatar report to get the full report. So just sometimes it's a little temperamental. Just have another go. If, if a prompt doesn't lead to what you expect, just try rephrasing it a little bit. But it should work really well and the details it will give you are really pretty cool. So what we've looked at so far is the image to book and the book creator. Now I want to switch to the magic calendar because I want to show you how that works. So let's go to the tangent magic calendar and let's have a look at the menu for that tool and see what it can do. Okay, so I did menu for magic calendar and here are some of the things that the magic calendar can do. So it can suggest niches, it can give you a mood and consumer report by month and what's neat about the magic calendar is it works for any month. So you specify a month, you ask it what you want and it will give you ideas for that month. So this is great if you're planning your products ahead of time. And this actually does venture outside of books. It gives you t-shirt themes, it gives you digital product ideas, and also physical products that you could sell on Etsy. It also gives you a ton of marketing information. Like you can see how much is in this magic calendar. It is a huge product. So let's take a look at this. So we've got suggest niches. So let's just do that. Let's do suggest niches for the summer. So again, here it goes and you can see the deep values coming into the magic calendar as well. So it gives you 30 different niches that are suitable for the summer and it tells you its inspiration and the deep value associated with them. So this is really cool. These are just general niches. They're not necessarily specific to KDP. So they're just niches for that particular month. But of course you can turn these into books. So, I mean, you've got beach relaxation, garden decor, homemade ice cream kits, stargazing, beach cleaning up. These, these are some really interesting ideas here. Firework safety, firework planner. That would be really interesting. You could do like a pyrotechnic planner. So I like some of those ideas like summer craft. Let's uh, see what else the magic calendar does. It also can do, I really like the mood and consumer report. So let's do that as well and see if that gives us any ideas. So we'll do mood and consumer report. Let's do it for June. That's a couple of months ahead. So I really like the mood and consumer report. You can see you've got the emotions here, optimism, joy, excitement, relaxation, a key health concerns are allergies and sun exposure. People are hoping to travel, spend time with family. Uh, there's concerns over balancing summer fun with responsibility. And look at this, it gives you so much information. Popular food, ice cream, salads, fruit, grilled food, a grilling journal, a grilling planner, that's always a good one. Uh, popular activities, people doing sports, going to music festivals, a festival journal, there's an idea. Uh, top 10 popular products that people are buying in June. Sunscreen, insect repellent, camping gear, popular travel destinations, national parks, beaches, road trips, major cities, summer festivals, Wow, I see so many ideas here, not just for books, but also for t-shirts, tote bags, anything that you are creating. And let me show you something else really cool that the Tangent Magic Calendar does. It actually does mid-journey prompts. So if there's something you like here, like festivals, you could do mid-journey prompts for summer festivals and it will generate some mid-journey prompts for you. It knows how to format mid-journey prompts because I taught it in the GPT how to create these mid-journey prompts. So you could go ahead and paste those into mid-journey and end up with some really cool pictures as well. So now what we could do is take one of these magic calendar suggestions, like, I don't know, vintage car show. That's a great one. So now let's switch back again. Let's go to the book creator. So I'm going to select the, bit, the book creator. And let's say brainstorm a book concept for a vintage car show. 
In fact, let's do brainstorm a low content book concept for a vintage car show. So check out what it does. It takes these deep values that are related to the vintage car show and it's finding you some sub niches. It's finding you more ideas. It's got the concept of the book, classic rides, a journey through time. It's got the goal, the back cover blurb. There's your slogan, ignite your passion for the past. Uh, it suggests what you could put on the cover. It's got the introduction, pages for logging visits to car shows with spaces for photos, notes and reflections. Restoration diaries with templates for documenting restoration projects. I would never ever have thought of that. That's such a great idea. A restoration planner for restoring an old car. Amazing. You can go on forever with this creating content, creating ideas. So, I mean, for example, now if I... I like the idea of a restoration diary. I could say, create a content plan for a car restoration diary. And I love some of these ideas. Got a milestone tracker, monthly progress logs, parts inventory and orders. So if you need to order something, you can keep track of that, you keep track of your expenses. Like this is giving you a whole book here. And again, you can just go over to Tangent Templates and create the pages for your book there and publish it there. So it is really, really cool that you can use these GPTs to brainstorm ideas like this. And of course, the book creator has so much built in. You can do a marketing plan for this. You can do the buyer avatar and learn more about what buyer is going to want this book. In fact, let's, let's do market research for this book. And what it should do is compare to typical other books on the market. It should suggest some things you can do with this book to market it to your particular audience. Oh, it got confused. Okay, this isn't the right one. So what I need to do, that's doing a solo travel one. So what I need to do is say market research for the car restoration book. So let's do market research for the car restoration diary. There we go. So now it's back on track. So, you know, sometimes you just have to kind of nudge it back on its path because it forgets what it was talking about. And sometimes when you're moving between GPTs, it's not quite as smooth as it should be, but it still works and it's still incredibly powerful. You just kind of have to nudge it a little bit in the right direction sometimes. So there we go. This is coming up with a whole bunch of market research here to give you ideas and like the demographics, the buying motivation, why people might buy this. And this is really helpful for your blurb, for your advertising. You're like, okay, they're interested in undertaking a restoration project. They're seeking inspiration. So it kind of gives you some information for why people might be looking to do this. So there we go. This is the book creator and I've been using it with the image to book and the magic calendar. So let's last of all take a look at the cover critique. So the cover critique's really fun. I'm just going to switch to that. So let's go tangent cover critique. And what I'm going to do is find a cover of one of my books, which is here. And you just upload that. And now hopefully what that's going to do is critique my cover. So let's see. So it takes a moment to get started and now check it out. Um, first of all, it analyzes the genre and tells you what genre your book cover would fit in with. It gives you the deep values. It gives you a target audience and says who this cover is likely to appeal to. Probably cat lovers, people who value tranquility, interest in interior design, judging by the cozy home setting. So this is actually giving you a ton of information and ideas based on your cover. And then it gives you some critique here. So it tells you how you're doing with the subject, composition, typography. It's interesting. It doesn't like the typography too much. Uh, it's only got 7 out of 10 for that. Um, it likes the colors, the symbolism. So now it gives you some more recommendations. So it says my title could be a little bolder or a more contrasting color. It could have interactions, so you could put a paw print to emphasize that it's a planner and that you can interact with it. Um, diversity, that's interesting. It says maybe more cat breeds or scenes in the house. And then it gives you some keywords. So this is the cover critique. You can see it gives you quite a lot of information there. And then you can generate long tail keywords 
or you can do an in-depth marketing psychology report. Ooh. So here we go. Let's let's do the in-depth marketing and let's see what it has to say about this cover. Okay, so this report goes a lot more in depth and it really analyzes the different features of the cover. So, I mean, there's things like this. The cat is a powerful symbol of independence and self-care. Plants signify growth and nurturing. So the book has this potential to aid personal development and self-nurturing. It gives you cultural context. Cats are seen as symbols of good luck and protectors of homes. Like, I wouldn't have thought of that. That's something that you could include in your book. It tells you how it will make audiences feel. They might feel a sense of peace and aspiration. And it has some observations. And then this is really cool. It gives you calls to action. So it has, like, plan your weeks in the serene company of a furry friend. And it gives you marketing strategies that you could use, like partner with influencers in mindfulness and home decor spaces, offer special discounts or bundles with other calming products like aromatherapy candles or relaxation teas. Oh, a bundle. I love that. Um, it has create content showcases, the planner, the interior of the planner and host giveaways on platforms like Instagram where people could share their own home spaces. Really, really cool. And then it has some reader avatars and tells you some people that might enjoy using this book. I love a yoga enthusiast and plant mom. I, I don't think I've ever heard plant mom before. And that sounds like a book all on itself. So, I mean, you could actually take plant mom now and of course go back to the book creator and say, create a book for me for plant moms. So as you can see, this is just, these tools are just huge. There's so much you can do with them. And I mean, if we switch back to the image tool, let's do that. Let's go to the image to book. Like I have this coloring book picture here and I actually made this uh, using crystal. So this was a picture I made in mid journey and then I vectorized it using the crystal tool, which you have if you're in our imagine course. I'm like, I came up with this. I thought this was a really fun coloring picture. And then this gives me more ideas for how I can actually use this. I check this out, terraces and tales, sketching the world's historic steps. Now that's kind of cool. You know, there is actually a group of people and all they do is climb steps. And I actually found their blog where they were talking about going up the steps of the Luxor in Las Vegas. And that's their thing. They all meet in Las Vegas, climb up the back steps and come down again. And then they have dinner. And I, I think that's an amazing niche, like step fanatics. But there you go. There's some more keywords. And so by using these four tools, so you've got the magic calendar, image to book, cover critique, and book creator, there is so much you can do. You can create all kinds of books. You can create the content for them. You can put that in tangent templates and you can have your book on KDP tonight. It's it, There's really nothing stopping you. And of course you can use Mid Journey to create a beautiful cover. You can create covers in ChatGPT at this time I'm not a huge fan the biggest holdbacks I see is number one I think it's very difficult to control Dali in chat GPT and get images that are really high quality also it's difficult you can't specify an aspect ratio so you'll have to crop the images yourself and with mid journey you can literally create dozens and dozens of images with one prompt at a time so it's a lot easier to find the perfect picture. If you don't like a picture, you can just re-roll it. Whereas ChatGPT, it's slow and you don't get a whole lot of prompts. So I am a big fan of mid-journey for covers, for graphics in your book. But there we go. I hope that you have all the tools you need here to create an awesome book. I'm using ChatGPT. I'm using my four GPT tools, which again, you can go and get from katherine.gumroad.com. And I'm using tangent templates to create my book and put it out there on KDP. So I hope this was helpful. I would love to hear what you think about GPTs, whether you'd like to hear more about them. I'm really into them. I think they're really, really cool. I've been making a lot of them. Also, if you haven't got it yet, do go and get Tangerine 4. It is free here. You can get the Spring Romance Tangerine 4 free on my Gumroad. There's also a bonus edition, which comes with a whole product where you can get resolutions it's got it's called the resolution directory and it was based off people's new year resolutions 
but there are actually things that are evergreen all year round and the resolution directory will give you a ton of book content ideas and there's a lot more in the bonus one as well so do take a look at that while you're on my gum road but the four tools you need to get are the gpt bundle the, which has the tangent image to book and cover critique the magic calendar and book creator and those four gpts will absolutely boost your book creating and then if you want to learn more about my deep values that's there on my gumroad free as well and again amazing reviews thank you i hope you guys enjoy that i hope it's helpful let me know what i can do to help or support you in your kdp journey in your creativity journey uh, your ai journey don't forget to come and join our Facebook group. So we have a KDP Facebook group and we have an AI Facebook group and we would love to see you in those. And also check out Imagine, which is my course all about creating coloring books using AI art. And if you want to learn mid-journey, Imagine will teach you mid-journey in depth. It's an amazing course. We have absolutely incredible reviews for it. And it also includes our crystal software which can make those beautiful black and white images for you. It can take your images, get rid of the gray and make them very clean black and white lines. So I hope you enjoy all of this. Do let me know what you think. Please, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any further videos and I'll see you soon. All right, guys, bye.